All right, as we continue our road tripping down here in East Texas, I want to take a special moment real quickly to see happy birthday to a very good friend of mine, Smokey the Bear, who turns actually today 69 years old of telling people only you can prevent, prevent forest fires. And of course, there's a reason why I'm here. I'm at the Texas Forestry Museum here in Lufkin. I'm with Rachel. You know what? Did not know that he was 69 years old. I know. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Next year, he'll be 70 years. We can hardly wait to celebrate. And a big celebration I'm sure you guys are going to have here. Yes, sir. That's right. Tons of activities for the kids and just have a good time. All right. Well, I didn't know if you knew that, but there's actually a Texas Forestry Museum here in Lufkin, Texas. Tell us what you can expect to, when you come here to the museum. In our history wing, we have the... Um, um, steam engine that was uh, vital for the mills that were in the sawmill towns. Uh, the steam engine is what powered the equipment to help cut the, the harvested trees into lumber and so the lumber was then sold to the public. Uh, so we have a huge steam engine. We also have um, a beautiful red uh, Martin wagon that was pull, pulled by uh, mules or oxen and it's one of my favorite pieces in the museum. Uh, it's really neat. Uh, and then we have exhibits that talk about the life in the sawmill town, uh, what it was like for the people, for the individuals. Uh, they made this, the sawmill towns, it was their life. They lived there, they rarely went anywhere else. Uh, they had their own schools, their own commissary. Uh, they got paid with money that they could use at the commissary. And um, the, it was their life and they were happy. They, they worked hard and played hard and they were very happy people for the most part. Yeah, actually, it, it is a different, it's a culture, the, tim the timber industry. Also, and when you pull up, you see this gigantic, I don't know how many feet it is, 150 feet, to tower. The tower. 120 feet. 120 feet. That plays an important part of keeping everybody safe and making sure you keep an eye on the, on the woods. As you know, wildfire can do great damage to um, um, a forest, and it was very important to keep the um, inhabitants safe, not only the animals, but the humans as well. And without those fire, early fire towers, uh, a lot of lives would have been lost. Yeah, absolutely. When you come here, you can take a tour, mm -hmm. and a tour guide will take you through here and explain all the elements of the museum, and then you guys offer that daily. Yes, that's correct. Um, we have planned tours. Um, if you have a large group, uh, we can plan that and tailor that to your desires, to your uh, what, what you wish to learn about. And then anybody is welcome to come every day. We're open six days a week. I think it was really interesting, too. They have a... Uh, the, the, a tree, a, a stump, I guess you could say, and it cut out with all the rings, and it kind of goes back in history and tells you where that tree was and what was going on in history. That's pretty cool. Yes, uh, we like to call those tree cookies, and um, as many people know, uh, the rings tell the age of the tree whenever it's cut. Uh, you can see a light ring and a dark ring, and each one of those together uh, equals one year that the tree has lived. Very interesting stuff here at the Texas Forestry Museum. Come by, check it out, and of course next year on uh, come by. He celebrates 70 years of telling people to prevent forest fires, which is important. That's right. We're going to have a grand celebration, so we invite everybody out to come even well before then, but certainly next year for Smokey's 70th birthday. All right, high five on that. All right, as we wrap up our trip here to East Texas, only you can keep watching road tripping. Actually, I just changed it up a little bit.